So another thing to look for is look at the vegetation. There's some animal behavior that creates movement in the plants that you see, not the actual animal. Fall bears are the obvious example because in short range glassing scenarios, they can be 100% obscured by a canopy, right? But they pull on the branches while feeding. Those branches will whip and shake. Bull elk can also create this effect with their antlers if they're bedded in thick stuff. When they turn their head, they hit, they hit the vegetation and it shakes and whips. If you are hunting on a calm day, almost, you know, almost no wind, this type of movement can be a game changer. On windy days, looking for vegetation movement is tricky. It's moving on its own and that camouflages these game related movements. But it's kind of like a guy that gets tuned in on seeing antelope on the plains, right? Or morel mushrooms when you're mushroom hunting. Once you see the vegetation move a bunch from game, you will actually be able to tell the difference. 